Understanding Executive Action, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into a phrase you might have heard in news or discussions, executive action. Let's explore what it means and how it's used in context. Stay tuned to grasp this important concept. Executive action refers to any decision or measure taken by an executive authority, typically by the president or a head of government. These actions can include signing executive orders, directing government agencies, or making declarations. It's a way for a leader to implement policy or manage the government's operations without needing a direct law passed by the legislature. To better understand, let's look at some examples. Signing an executive order. This is a common form of executive action. It's a direct order from the president that manages operations of the federal government. Directing agencies. The executive might direct a government agency to take specific actions or change how they operate. Making declarations. Sometimes, an executive action can be a declaration, like declaring a state of emergency. It's important to know that executive actions are bound by law. They can't override existing laws, but they can provide guidance on how laws should be implemented or clarify existing policies. They are a tool for quick decision-making and often reflect the priorities and policies of the current administration. I hope this video has helped clarify what executive action means and how it is used in a governmental context. Remember, understanding these phrases enriches your grasp of the English language and broadens your knowledge of global affairs. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next lesson.